I am the king of the north. And as your king, I tell you, no one will sit on the Iron Throne if we don't win the battle against the Army of the Dread. Um, that's Army of the Dead? Wait, they're dead? Maybe we should call that Dragon Lady. Okay, so I thought I had this all squared up, but I don't know if you can see the ball. Move it over. This tail comes way too close to the side, and I've got this big gap over here. So I just sketched all that out for nothing. I gotta do it again. Okay, so this time, to ensure that I'm in the center, I've found the center on this board. I found the center on the stencil. I'm gonna put this thumb tack through here. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna push that in. Straighten it up. Moment of truth. And yay, look at that. It's in the center. So one thing I did is I went in and I kind of took out some of the detail, um, like the little nubs, like these little nubs. I just took them out and just did a straight line because this will be the kind of deeper carving and then I'll come in and, and have to do the, the detailing after that. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm done carving. This is where I am currently. I don't know if you can see that. This is where it is. So next, I figured I would cut these back at a 45 degree angle to give it a weird little chamfer type situation behind it. And then we're gonna burn it. So we'll burn here, char the edges. And if I have time, what I'm gonna do is route a little channel around the back, around the square in the back that's gonna accept a little LED so I can do like an LED so the LEDs will shine around the back of it. I don't know if that's gonna look good or not though. So we'll see. But next, let's cut that 45.
And then I just have this old set of LED lights that I ordered that uh, were too short for the project that I was using them on. So I think what I'm gonna do is wind them around the back of here so this thing will be backlit. I think the best way to do that is to use the hot glue gun. And I say think because I don't think I've ever successfully used a hot glue gun. It always doesn't work. So let's see what happens. How do you know when hot glue's ready? <laughs> 